Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying the Drawing Room Club. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about this book that I bought probably about six months ago and haven't really delved into until quite recently with um, the drawing prompts that I put out for April. Um, and I've been in touch with Kate Boucher about, um, about this book. I thought it was just so wonderful. There are quite a lot of instruction books out there and they tend to either be a little bit light in terms of content, you know, the sort of the way that the, the techniques are described and whatnot. Um, or they can get really quite technical and quite boring. And I think Kate's book is an absolutely fantastic example of a heavyweight book that's really accessible and really, really easy to use. Um, it gives you some fabulous ideas. I've been drawing with charcoal for decades. I absolutely adore charcoal, always have, and one of the reasons that I chose it for the first month of prompts. And I've learned so much from Kate's book. Um, so I just thought I'd talk you through it. It's it's a lovely book, and like any good cookbook or anything, it's it's covered in in charcoal. So it's, I've made a bit of a mess of it, but it's absolutely lovely. Um, and it's got quite a lot of examples of her work. So here's the contents page. Um, so it talks a lot about getting to know your your tools, um, but it also then goes on to all sorts of strategies for finding your subject matter, which I know for a lot of people can be a real struggle. Um, I've focused a lot on the third chapter, which is making marks with charcoal. I haven't really got to um, develop beyond that, really. And the first prompt for this month was just making marks. And that's all I've done. Um, and I've used this book quite a lot. She also talks a lot about um, photography and that kind of stuff. And I know that in her in-person workshops, she also encourages the use of photography as a primary source and using photographs to develop your drawings and charcoal. So I just thought I'd take you through the book just to give you an idea of what it is. There's a lot of books out there, you can't buy them all, but this is just, um, I just wanted to show you some of the books, some of the bits that I found really useful. So um, drawing cloths is something that I've never done before and I thought that was amazing. Um, using, I, I've always used the sort of paper towel that you know I have lying around my studio for painting, but actually the cloth creates an entirely different type of mark and a, type, a different type of saturation into the, into the paper. So I found that incredibly useful um, and I've never come across that before. Um, so this is what I talked about with um, the photography and I love this quote. It's not what you, uh, I can't read, I haven't got my glasses on. Um, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. It's a Thoreau quote, it's lovely. These are one of Kate's drawings there. Um, and I really like the fact that this is quite heavyweight stuff. I mean, it really talks through, even for quite developed, um, mature artists, you know, some quite, I think, quite in-depth strategies for for using drawing as a means of seeing. Um, I think it's wonderful. So, uh, I'll have to carry on. So these are some kind of cool photographs. They're really great. Um, and here, she talks about primary sources. And I really like the fact that she puts these into really, really practical exercises um, with the greatest of intentions, even, you know, quite experienced artists who get started it doesn't look quite how you were hoping and it can be quite discouraging. So I've done some of these, you know, really stuck to her prompts and her ideas. And you do, it does take you outside of your, your own normal self quite a lot. Um, and the way that you normally draw and the kinds of marks that you sort of tend to make a bit too much. Um, so I thought this was a really, really good exercise. I really like that. And I really like this one too, using randomness to select a visual reference. I do that a lot. Um, then it goes on to all sorts of other stuff. I think this is just an exquisite drawing of Kate's and it just shows her sensitivity to marks and her just amazing knowledge of her medium. I mean, this this endless practicing of marks and things like that. I mean, it's so useful so that by the time, you know, what you've really understood how to use charcoal before you actually come to drawing a thing, you know, you just understand what happens if you use thin charcoal, th thick charcoal, liquid charcoal, um, if you turn the charcoal to the side and use the side of it, you know, these sorts of things. I mean, you can just see that maturity and that excellence within her, her, her tools. It's just wonderful. It's wonderful to see. So anyway, she talks a little about um, this, this advanced language skills that she talks about in this. There we go. And I love this one. Deliberate and rescued mistakes. I think we can all relate to that. This idea of deliberately creating... Um, difficult marks that you perhaps wouldn't have thought you would want to make but she encourages you to do that and to rescue them but also sometimes you just make mistakes 
and then it's what to do with those mistakes. So anyway, there's lots and lots and lots there. I just wanted to give you a little brief introduction. This book is available online um, pretty much anywhere. It's a fabulous investment. I can't recommend it more highly. I've also been in touch with Kate and had a chat with her about um, some tips and some ideas for anyone out there who is learning to use charcoal. And she's agreed to answer a few of my questions, which I've given um, on the Drawing Room Club uh, page. So do check those out. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and let me know if you're thinking about buying the book or if you have the book um, and any comments that you have. Thanks. Bye.